right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're looking at LR Metal Cooler, um, the newest Carnival LR and one of the four major LRs um, that released during the 2022 Worldwide Download Celebration, which of course was based on the Cooler movies. Now, this is a very interesting character in which his defense is not the best, his offense is not the best, and it's almost, I would almost dare say it's not even spectacular. Um, just uh, quickly, I might as well point this out, but um, it's a very similar thing to, like, uh, Dokkan Fest Majin Vegeta, right? Where occasionally Dokkan Fest Majin Vegeta can put up a good attack stat, but for the most part, you're probably not going to see, like, a major attack stat from that character. But more to the point, he doesn't have additionals or crits built in that in Majin Vegeta's damage just ends up being very, very poor compared to other characters of his type, right? Dokkan Fest DURs. Um, Metal Cooler here is going to have the same thing, right? Metal Cooler does not have any built-in additionals. He does not have any built-in crits, which means um, he is just not going to be able to output as much damage as a lot of these outstanding sort of like Dokkan Fest exclusive level LR characters, right? Just look at the other three characters from the same celebration. Carnival Goku, super effective against all types if he gets hit. And then after he revives, he has a 50% chance to crit, right? Final Form Cooler has a million additionals. He's just attacking all day long. And then Goku and Vegeta, they have built-in additionals and built-in crits, right? So uh, Vegeta and Trunks have built-in crits, built-in additionals, right? It it's very rare for characters like this to not have that. Um, and it, I think it will be a detriment. This guy certainly could do more damage. Um, if you go through his entire kit, uh, he is just sort of like a, a utility unit, right? He's going to be healing you a lot at the start of turn. 10% HP at the start of turn. And then if HP is 50% or less, you get an additional 10% HP. He has a um, melee nullification ability. So if, you know, some boss tries to do a melee super against Metal Cooler, Metal Cooler will just outright block it, which is good. Um, and then, of course, he can revive, right? Any HP level, Metal Cooler will instantly revive if he is killed. Um, I do like it. I have found a lot of use out of it. Um, I've done many sort of, like, no-item red zone runs and stuff like that, getting Metal Cooler's abilities to proc, right? Like, it's not uncommon or difficult to see Metal Cooler get these abilities off. So that's really good, right? Um... If I had to really say, like, negatives, though, I think, again, damage-wise, he could be better. People will see a 10 million attack and go, oh my god, wowie zowie, but it's like, dude, like, that's not, that's not impressive. Like, all these good characters can do stuff like that, right? I think um, there's two big things they could have given this guy that would have made him a lot better. Number one is a guaranteed additional super. I think just giving him a guaranteed additional super would be monstrous for this guy. Especially because his 12-key super attack effect is fantastic, right? On his 12-key super attack, he gets 30% defense and greatly lowers enemy attack very good. And then on his 18-key, he massively raises attack and then raises defense for one turn. So he gets 100% attack for the turn and then 30% defense for the turn. And then he massively lowers enemy defense. Um, so a guaranteed additional could be good. But I think an even better idea than a guaranteed additional is a scouter. This seems like the perfect type of character to have a scouter, and it would work perfectly with what you want to do, which is have him die, right? You can go through a lot of these red zone stages with this character in slot one, even though his defense is not, you know, he's not guarding or with damage reduction, which is pretty much what you need these days to go in slot one. Um, but until, until you have his revive, like, he is safe, because he dies in slot one, you just come right back, right? But after that... Right, then you have to start playing a little bit more uh, careful with uh, our boy Metal Cooler here. So let's go ahead and jump in. Let's take a look at how good our boy can be. So link set-wise, he has Big Bad Bosses, Strongest Clan in Space, Thirst for Conquest, Auto Regeneration, Nightmare, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. So he has a very strong link set, right? Um. Oh, oh, I didn't mention it, but we could talk about it right now. Key. Key is going to be an issue for LR Metal Cooler. Um. So if we take a look at it... He gets two key at the start of turn, and then he gets one key up to a max of four, and then 15% attack and defense up to a max of 60% with each attack received. He does also heal 10% HP at the end of the turn in which he gets um, receives an attack. But I have found going through, you know, many of these, like, red zone runs and stuff like that, 
Metal Cooler struggles for key more so than the other top LRs uh, that, that have come out recently, right? Metal Cooler does not do damage like them, and he struggles for key in a way that all these characters do not, right? Final Form Cooler um, and, you know, Carnival Goku and these characters don't really struggle for key, right? The way that, unfortunately, um, our boy here does, right? This is actually pretty good. So I'm fighting the um, Int UI Goku Dokkan event right here. If he drops a Spirit Bomb in slot 1, we can just instantly see Metal Cooler's revive, which I think would be pretty cool. Um, Metal Cooler does also have an active skill, which I've found to be very, very good. Um, you could do this from the 5th turn if Metal Cooler's taken 7 hits, or after he revives, you can use it. Um, it does damage, it's nothing super crazy, but it recovers 30% HP, which is monstrous. Okay, so we have a good turn right here. All seven links. Um, I'm not going to be able to take advantage of this, though. Because Cooler, SDR Cooler's got his built-in additionals. Int Metal Cooler's got his additionals as well. We'll get this turn a little bit later on. But that would have been nice to have all seven. Yeah, damn, dude. Like, Key, key is going to be an issue. I mean, he hasn't been hit yet. Let me just get 24 Key. I, I would like, you know, to see Metal Cooler do some things. Let's, you know, I'd like to see our boy actually get some turns and be able to do some massive amounts of damage here so let's go ahead and do that um yeah i that's that's sort of i think the one big thing is key um and then damage wise it, it's not gonna be the most impressive um defense and and damage wise like it, it's like just seeing the number right like he'll do like nine and ten million attack sets and stuff like that um after he you know fully builds up after he takes his four hits at the moment we haven't received any hits i mean you guys are when it's showcase time um, I typically do have very horrendous luck, um, and actually, like, you know, oh, like, let's get these hits on him and stuff like that, like, yeah, it's, it always ends up going south. Um, okay, I think uh, after this, we'll, we'll probably just do a couple of different things, right? We'll, we'll go into some events, um, I, I want to make sure to get Metal Cooler's nullification in the video, we want to get his revive, right? All of these sort of, like, uh, interesting abilities that Metal Cooler can do, I, I just want to sort of put them in here. Um, but this is so just sort of going to be, like, a utility character, I think, on, like, Wicked Bloodline or Movie Bosses or something like that. Um, honestly, I would say they could have made him a bit better, but he is he does fulfill, like, a role that, like, Wicked Bloodline and Movie Bosses and these teams needed. So it's like, I don't think he's a bad release, Metal Cooler. Um, I, I do probably like him a little bit better than Goku and Vegeta, even though Goku and Vegeta, I think for the most part, like raw numbers and stuff like that will out, out, like, um, like out, out surpass this metal cooler. I, I do like what this metal cooler is able to bring to the table. Um, I think everything he, he has an enormous impact on all of these fights, man. He really does. So I, I, I do really like this character. Okay. So we'll be able to get a couple of hits in right here. Um, final for, uh, Cooler was not actually giving support, right? Because Cooler gives 50% support to transformation boosts of one enemy, which Metal Cooler, unfortunately, is not on. And he gives 50% to terrifying conquerors against multiple enemies. Why don't we hop into a fight against multiple enemies? That, that sounds like a good idea. Um, and we can, uh, hopefully see Metal Cooler get, like, a nullification and all these different abilities and stuff like that. 8.54. So that's with support from Kuliza and two of the four hits that he needed to receive right there. All right, guys, we're here in an event. Um, we can get some interesting uh, sort of stats in here, right? Um, in this fight, we can get LR Metal Cooler all links activated with, you know, Cooler's 50% support. Remember that the Int LR Metal Cooler does link up pretty well, right? Most of our links. Um, and does give support as well, although the in LR Metal Cooler only gives key and defensive support, um, no offensive support, right? So, all right, um, I think Z Zangya can seal, right, which tends to be very annoying, but I think it's a melee attack. If she tries it, Cooler's probably just gonna nullify it right here. Let's see. Go for it. No, she didn't. Oh, and then I died, then we three dodged. Okay. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Um, okay, okay, so we got this first turn. Let me skip ahead, um, until we can sort of get, well, uh, man, the only thing is that I hope we can take enough hits, right, to, to get the rotation. I guess I'll, I'll skip ahead a little bit, um, until Metal Cooler's fully built up. I do want to get that rotation where we get, you know, SDR Cooler giving the 50% support, 
and then LR Metal Cooler, and then, you know, we're fully built up and see what his numbers look like on that turn, right? Um, remember that LR Metal Cooler? Um, the thing about him that is very good, right? Very good, actually, is that he gets defense on every single super attack he does, LR Metal Cooler. Now, if you guys know, I am always sort of complaining um, when characters come out that don't give themselves defense um, on super attack, right? Because these bosses come out and they're doing 1.5 million damage. And it's just like, you know, you, you know, you could see like a unit with 700k defense and go, damn, that boy is good. And then he dies in one hit, right? Like, yeah, he's so good, right? It's like, but, you know, if a character's got 700k defense and then they're getting, you know, 30% on super and then the additional super and they're getting another 30% on super, all of a sudden you can survive one of these bosses that does 1.5 million damage. So that's something that is good for Metal Cooler. What's funny is... I've actually lost several runs because I've, like, sort of in my head, like, marked Metal... Like, okay, Metal Cooler's gonna die here. And he's actually lived with, like, a sliver of health, and then I have died on a follow-up unit getting killed, right? That has actually happened to me with Metal Cooler because he does have high enough defense. Mm. I do say that, but I would like the unit better if his defense was even higher. <laughs> but I, I feel like... More so than even extra damage or extra defense. Again, the scouter for this guy, I think, would be ideal. The perfect thing that he could use. Okay, so we can get two more hits right here. Again, I really would like to fully build up Metal Cooler. Let, let's just... What is our defense, actually, on this turn right here? 388. That's only with one hit. So we do still need to take uh, three additional hits. So at this point, I'm just going to skip ahead <clears throat> until we're fully built up on LR Metal Cooler. Um, okay, so we need one more hit, and we will be fully built up. Still at 9.2 right there. Pretty good. All right, so we'll come back um, once LR Metal Cooler has fully built up. And I want to also make sure to get the revive in the video and the nullification as well. All right, guys, we have a pretty nasty turn right here. Um, we will be able to have 638k defense on LR Metal Cooler. And again, that's where he super attacks and gets 30% defense on every super. So we can get to um, a pretty uh, substantial number there. Um, Actually, let me have LR Metal Cooler Super Attack first. We could get a little bit of an additional buff. I guess Bujin could seal the, in LR Metal Cooler, which is, is fine. I, I just want to see this rotation like right here. So we have all links activated and STR Cooler is giving the support. So let's just see what LR Metal Cooler can do right here. We are fully built up at the moment as well. So we do want to keep that in mind. Um, all right. So the LR in Metal Cooler, uh, I believe their 18 key super attack does give a little bit of a support buff um, to LR Metal Cooler. So what are we going to get right here uh, from the physical LR Metal Cooler? Not the int one, but the physical one. All right. Yeah, you're doing a million attacks. We got it. Uh, wow, 14. Okay. I mean, that's that's definitely good. That's good. I mean, that's all seven links active, full passive. We're getting a huge amount of support, right? We're getting support from the in LR Metal Cooler army when they super attack first and stuff like that. I mean, that's definitely a good number, right? Like that, and then after super attacking, right, he's getting the 30% basically on top of his 700k defense that he pretty much had at the start of turn. So that's pretty good. Right, like if we're gonna see Metal Cooler, you know, dropping numbers like that, man, that that is definitely very impressive. Um, we might as well take this opportunity to just do the active skill right here. Let's just sort of see what the active skill um sounds like for Cooler right here. Um, you know, again, just just kind of just see it, and I, I do really like the voice acting. Cooler and Frieza's voice actor is, of course, really really good. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So there was the active skill. Um, the damage may not be the craziest sometimes, but remember, we do heal 30% HP from that active skill in some of these big red zone fights i have had that really really matter 
that can be very helpful, a 30% heal. Alright guys, we'll get this turn right here as well. Um, we'll sort of see what damage we can get from LR Metal Cooler. Um, after this, uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied. We, we've seen some high stats from him. Remember that every single turn we're seeing Metal Cooler, he is healing for us as well. Um, so let's just get this turn 10 million right there. Okay. Um, and let's now just get the nullification and the revive, and, and I'm pretty content. Uh, LR Metal Cooler, man. He, he is definitely an outstanding unit. Doing a lot. He has a lot of abilities that are very good. All right, we should be able to get the revive right here from AoE Broly. This should kill. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's get the revive. I do love that. What that that <laughs> that one is awesome. That revive that that is so cool. All right, let me just get the nullification in the video real fast, and then we'll finish up. But um, I really do enjoy this LR Metal Cooler man. He he's a fun unit for sure. There we go. There's the nullification, and man, does that look good. I do like that. So, there we go. Um, there is our boy, uh, LR Metal Cooler. A very, very, very good unit. Um, let me know what you guys think about uh, LR Metal Cooler. Between his heal, his nullification, the revive, all the different abilities um, LR Metal Cooler has. I, I think he is an outstanding unit, right? So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.